Hey there, have you felt like your video were lacking that little bit of humph, something to keep your viewer engaged? Then you're in luck, because today I'm gonna show you how to take a boring clip like this one and turn it into a banger like this one. Now if you wanna know more, let's jump in the Vinci Resolve. And we're gonna start in the edit page. And I'm not gonna waste your time, you've seen it from the title and thumbnail. The way we're gonna elevate this clip is by really locking an element in place. You can see it here, it never moves. It stays in one place and one place only. How am I achieving that? With an example of a person dancing. In this case, we will want to fix that head. So pick a moment of your choice, like here, decide to fix the head. And I know what you're thinking. Philip, we don't need the tutorial. I know how to do keyframing, right? Select my clip, freeze, position, rotation angle, zoom, whatever. I can fix absolutely everything. Move a couple of frame, and then I can reposition. Just make sure that I always get his head. The hardest things is where did you got that visor or lock on things? Well, that might work, right? As I'm doing this, it's kind of work, but do you see yourself doing that for every frame for the entire video? That would be absolutely tedious. And the problem is, as you're gonna start moving it, you create those gaps. So you're gonna have to do two things. You're gonna have to keep moving it, and then you're gonna have to zoom in to remove the gap. What if there was a better way? And you know what, there is one. So let me show you that very quickly. This video doesn't need to be longer than needed. You know I'm not about fucking around. So let's remove this. So what we want to do is to right click on your clip, click on open the infusion page, and then right here you're gonna shift space, look for your tracker. The planet tracker is absolutely perfect. Double click, add, and we can see here now that it has been added in the chain. Now all we need to do is to configure it. So first things first, let's make sure that with the operation mode we into track. The tracker we're gonna change from point to hybrid point and area. Not really sure what the difference is, but this works better for me, so we're gonna roll with that. For the motion type, here this is where you're gonna want to be careful. By default, perspective is really every angle. Think about a 3D camera running around, not what we want. I wanna make sure that I'm fixing it into space, so that's gonna be going from right and left and up and down, so that's translation. If you pick rotation and you pick something like a head and tilt the head to the right, you're gonna have some funny results. Now let's maybe zoom in. We said we wanted to fix that head. So I could try to fix something like a nose, as you might have seen in some tutorial, where they want to be very accurate. This is not what we're gonna do. We're gonna be very aggressive. We're gonna go all around the head. We're gonna take a bit of extra, just because if the hands comes in front of the face or if the face turn, I don't wanna be bothered. I've tried to be very narrow, doesn't work. So let's go for the entire face. And now let's make sure that we either at the beginning of a clip, or if we are not, we can simply set our current frame as the reference. Now let's make it even bigger so we can enjoy this. With all our configuration set, we into a reference frame. Now I can start to track from the back. Simply keep tracking. Now from here, I can go to my reference frame and I can start to track forward. So with this, from our reference frame, I will have both sides and this will give us everything we need. Now that we've got our tracking done and we can see that with all of those white bar, we're nearly done. We could create a planet transform and then use this with a transform to move in opposite of the head, kind of a keyframing in an automated way. But it's even simpler. From a planet tracker, simply change track from steady. The moment you do that, you're gonna realize that as I'm playing the clip, the head doesn't move. Let's go back to the edit page. Let's go back to that reference frame. And now as I'm playing it, we can see that that head doesn't move. Now, if yours is a little bit all over the place, let's make sure that as you go back into the Fusion page, make sure that that tracker has been configured to be translation only. If you've got anything fancy or crazy going on, I can guarantee you that's coming from here. Now, you might be wondering, steady, that's great. What about the others? Well, if you take Stabilize, it's going to stabilize your clip a little bit better. Something very similar to what you would have here in Stabilization. So you can use this, but there is no way to lock in from these options, which is why we went into the Fusion page. Now for the locking, Steady is the one, but after we've done the tracking, let's make sure we've done that right. And here, this is everything we need to do. Now in the Edit page, our clip is locked in. So all we need to do is to come back at the top and play with the Transform a little bit. Let's zoom in, maybe move our clip to where we want it to be, and make sure that as we play along, and as you move across, we never have any kind of out of frame motion coming in. That's what I've done with the gym section. This works no matter what. It works for your dance video, it works for your cooking video, it works for your running video, it works for absolutely everything. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao everyone.